No worky. Worky. So this is a working garage door opener, but there is one problem. I don't like leaving the garage door openers inside the car because if someone breaks into the car and they get a hold of the garage door opener, then they can easily open your garage and you know steal things from your garage. I told the missus, you know, why don't you put this in your purse? And she says, well, because the the in my purse it'll rattle around and the buttons because they're very easy to push, like any little any little thing can can push them. Uh, she didn't want to do that in, in the fear of uh, the buttons being pushed you know, in her purse when she's around the car or leaving or something and not knowing if the garage door will open or not. If I, just, if I can just install a simple rocker switch to just enable and disable power to the battery or from the battery, then when it's off, when it's off, the button will worky. When you turn the switch on and complete the circuit, the button worky. Basically, uh, created, this is like a safety switch, so if this is off, that's not going to happen. It's just a matter of the best position to switch. So let's dig in. So the battery goes here. Switches are here and here and here. I think this is for lock and something else. Don't really use these two buttons very often. Just this one on the side here. That's the main open, the main open button here. And it looks like there's two little points here with a positive and negative. I'm thinking my entry point is, so there's a little jumper pin from the positive side of the battery here. If you flip it over here, it, if you follow the trace, it went there and then jumped across with this little metal jumper. So I removed the jumper and uh, it doesn't, obviously it doesn't work now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to solder two wires to the switch here. And that should do it, I think. So let's get started. I'm gonna snip this jumper in half, roughly. Okay, so we got that side back in. Okay, so now we have that jumper, which is broken right now from here to here. So now I can actually just solder the two wires to the switch. So let's do that. All right, so that works. All I have to do is just remember to turn the switch off. Now we got to figure out where we're going to place the switch. All right, so I think really the only place is the top left corner. I'm just going to use this, see if I can just melt it. It's melting. It's not a problem. It stinks though. That's 400C, so. Looks like I might need to sand some space off the PCB here. Okay, so I, I had to snip the poles of the uh, the switch there because they were hitting the bottom. I still don't know if it's gonna fit. Oh my god, dude! This is a nightmare. I forgot about this fucking thing. All right, attempt number twelve. All right, so there we go. In its full glory there, there's a uh, on and off. The buttons seem to be, yep, normal, of normal pressure. I'm just gonna hot glue this side here. A little crappy 15 watt glue gun, but hey. Yeah, hot glue sucks. All right, it's pretty, <laughs> that's, pr that's pretty ugly. Thanks for watching.